hello friends we will continue the finding out derivative of f of z is equal to mod z square see in the last class we have got the first part on simplification f dash of z is equal to this much we have got that now uh, for see the case 1 in the case 1 1 here it is uh, I am taking that here it is z equal to 0 when z is equal to 0 then z bar is also equal to 0 therefore the flash of z is equal to limit delta z tends to 0 therefore this is nothing but 0 plus z is equal to 0 plus here it remains delta z bar therefore this is equal to limit delta z bar now this is 0 this is 0 term and while applying this here this is also 0 why it is because you know that delta z is nothing but delta x plus i delta y therefore delta z bar is what delta x minus i delta y here it is nothing but delta x comma delta y as delta x tends to z tends to 0 as delta z tends to 0 this implies delta x comma delta y also tending to 0 comma 0 or we will simply say tending to 0 in the same way in the delta z bar also it is delta x comma minus delta y it is also equal to 0 or we will say tending to 0 therefore delta z bar is also equal to 0 therefore equal to 0 therefore now mod z square a derivative of that d by dz of mod z square is equal to how much equal to 0 at where z is equal to 0 we will discuss another case here when z not equal to 0 here case 2 now here case 2 when z not equal to 0 not equal to 0 then what is the limit corresponding to this here now f dash of z is equal to in this case delta z tends to 0 which is here now separately we will discuss now here observe that here for your convenience sake here delta z is equal to what delta z is equal to here let me before uh, continue that let me discuss that k it is clear out that here when z not equal to 0 you are finding out the limit in two ways that is a complex number you know that complex number contains real part as well as imaginary part so therefore while uh, explaining corresponding to z not equal z not equal to 0 we are tending uh, through the real part and uh, we are tending the limit through imaginary part so now here I am finding out the derivative when it a limit tending towards to when it is through the real part. So when delta x tends to 0 here uh, imaginary part of the term is equal to 0 what is the imaginary part y. So therefore delta z delta y is equal to 0. So therefore here delta z is nothing but delta x plus i delta y. So therefore as imaginary part of the term is 0 delta z is equal to how much delta x similarly delta z bar is equal to how much here delta x minus i delta y here therefore delta z bar for the same reason it is equal to delta x so it becomes here delta z is equal to how much delta z bar they are equal so now go back to star here it becomes here it is z bar plus here z into what is this delta z bar delta z bar i may write now this as delta z divided by delta z plus that here it is you can write it as delta z bar is equal to delta z now as apply the limit now as delta z tends to 0 therefore observe that this term is equal to 0 and this get cancels here what is the limit remaining that is the limit value of this is going to be this is 1 here 
plus z into 1 what is this becomes here z plus z bar therefore when uh, first uh, z not equal to 0 when you are finding out the derivative by the definition limit definition you are letting that value delta z tends to 0 through purely real axis similarly in the on the other hand that we will observe that through imaginary axis when uh, f dash of z f dash of z while tending towards to through imaginary axis then you know that it is real part of that real part of that delta z is 0 that means delta x is 0 therefore therefore delta z is nothing but there what it becomes here delta z plus i delta y it is this is 0 remaining is delta i y that is here similarly in this term here delta z bar delta x minus i delta y that is equal to this term is 0 delta x is 0 what remains here minus i delta y. So, therefore, how we can connect this and this here the delta term. So, delta z is equal to how much we can write it as minus delta z bar. So, therefore, I am coming back to star here I'm substituting that term in the same style there. So, it is becomes here what now here this is equal to here right. So, this is limit delta z tends to 0 which is nothing but here right f dash of z keep it in mind it becomes what now here z bar plus z into z delta z bar is equal to how much this is equivalent is not it. So, minus you can take that minus delta z divided by delta z you know that that is here delta z bar is equal to you can write equivalently minus delta z is not it. So, now again again observe that keep this in mind ok. Now, this is here plus it becomes what delta z bar delta z bar is equal to del minus delta z you can write it as minus delta z instead of that term. So, now this is apply the limit it becomes what this is equal to 0 right. So, now this becomes what z bar plus as usual it becomes what minus z or this is equal to how much we have got that it is here z minus z bar is not it z bar minus it is z here it is ok. You have got the two limits here it is what you have got in the case here when uh, limit tending through real axis you have got z plus z bar when you are uh, through imaginary axis you have got z minus z bar I'll say z bar minus z here you know that when the limit exists they should be equal that means that is here when they are equal that is z plus z bar that here it is observe that here it is z plus z bar that is equal to z bar minus z you have got or this get cancels here it is nothing but here you collect z term what is it becomes here z equal to 0 that is what you have got z equal to 0 2 z is equal to 0 implies z is equal to 0 which is a contradiction what is your case uh, your case now is z is not equal to 0 while proving that what you have got z is equal to 0 which is a contradiction to your case z not equal to 0 therefore summarizing this here what is the conclusion so therefore derivative of mod z square is not equal that is equal to 0 in the case z not equal to 0 which is a contradiction which not holds good here therefore mod z square is not differentiable when z is equal to 0 right here so general conclusion is what mod z square function is not differentiable when z for all values of z here it is okay thank you we will continue some more problems in the next class